let's make a bluey cake. Hammer ban. So I'm starting with some white fondant. I've added a bit of CMC and we're just going to roll this out. I'm not very good at drawing, so I'm going to use a template to draw bluey and bingo. And then I'm going to cut around the outline with a craft knife. You can see I used a graphite pencil on mine, which is non-toxic. But if you are worried about that, you can just press in the lines and create an indentation rather than having drawn lines on yours. I did give up cutting out every single square from that shopping trolley because it was taking too long. Now onto the painting part, I'm going to use some edible food colour dust and we're going to mix it with some clear food grade alcohol to create a paint. I'm going to start by painting the grey for the shopping trolley and I'll probably need to paint on some lighter grey and also some darker bits and try and create the shading. I'm going to look at a picture from this scene as well to try and help me with what colours to put where. I don't know if it matters what order you paint things in. I'm going to do the gnome hat so let's try and mix a colour for that and paint that on. I'm going to use these same colours for the shopping trolley handle. So I did find it quite tricky to mix the right colours I needed for the different parts on this, especially bluey. I really struggled to get a blue the right colour. I didn't have the powders in the exact colour, so I had to try and mix them. Not sure it worked quite right. I'm not going to show you every bit of the painting process because it's probably a little bit boring for you guys to watch. But if you're using powdered colours like me, just make sure that you're mixing them with like a clear alcohol or you can use lemon essence if you prefer. And to make sure they're not too thick or too thin. If they're too thick, you're going to struggle to spread them. If they're too thin, they're going to be very transparent. I'm just going to cut this bottom edge straight so that we can have a straight edge on the bottom of the cake later. When you are done with all your painting, you can add the outlines. Or if, like me, you got bored of painting and you want to add the outlines partway through, you can do. You'll see I was a little bit untidy with this. I tried to use an edible pen, an edible ink pen. Uh, then I swapped back to painting again because that didn't really work well for me. I definitely need to practice my painting because I wasn't very neat with this one. So if you want to paint this directly onto the cake, you can do, but I thought by painting it on this extra sheet of rolled out icing, that it meant I could do this ages in advance of me actually making the cake and I didn't have to rush to paint it that way. I forgot to say guys as well, you can use whatever brand you want of the edible powders. I'll link below in the video to the ones that I've used in this one. I'm not sure with the brands that I have a particular favourite. Usually I'll use loads of different ones depending on which brand has the nearest colour for what I need is usually what I pick. So as well as painting, I want to add some 3D details to the front. So I'm going to make some gingerbread mix, which you can find another video for on my YouTube channel as well. So I'll put links to that in the corner of the screen now. And I'm going to cut out some shapes for the plants that are in the hammer barn that we can just add as extra decoration. So we'll get these cut out and then we'll get them baked in the oven ready for icing later. So I didn't bake my own cakes for this one, guys. Um, I just bought them from Sweet Success, but they're nice to use, nice and easy for me. For this one, I'm gonna use a 10 inch cake. Now, I'll keep it full circle at first. We'll cut it in half and we're gonna fill it in the middle. Now I'm gonna use some raspberry and white chocolate ganache. We did make a video, so Patricia from The Secret Tart made this for us. Um, I'll have to dig out that video somewhere, see if I can find it so you guys can see how it's made. Also, just a layer of green colored buttercream in there too. And then what I'm going to do is going to cover the whole outside edge in a layer of white chocolate ganache that I've just dyed a pale green because I thought that'd be a nice background colour to use for this one. So once you've gone over it once, go over with a second layer, keeping it nice and smooth or as smooth as you can get it with a smoother. Flipping it over and doing exactly the same on the other side because we're going to stand this cake up. If I don't have ganache on both sides of the cake, it won't have enough strength and it might collapse. So our ganache really is giving it a lot of extra strength here. And I'm just trimming off any bits that stick out to try and get it as flat as possible. Once the ganache is set, I'm going to stick the little bluey thing we've made onto the front. I'm going to use some piping gel to glue that in place. And then I'm going to cut off the bottom curve of the cake so that we can stand it up later. And also I'm going to cover that cut edge in chocolate ganache too. Now my ginger biscuits have cooled down. I'm going to ice them. So I'm going to use some pale green fondant that I'm going to roll nice and thin. And then I'm going to draw the outline of the plants that I want to put on. I'm just going to press in some indentations as well for all the lines. That's going to help me paint it in a minute. I'm going to stick the fondant to the gingerbread biscuit with a little bit of the leftover chocolate ganache. Then just like we did with Bluey and Bingo, we're going to use the edible powder paints and we're just going to paint all the different colours of greens and the plant pots onto these. I do love watching Bluey and I think if I had to pick a favourite episode, it would be the Granny's episode because I just think that's so funny. So just a little bit of painting now left to do. I'm going to try and paint a background on. 
of them in the hammer barn. So some like rolls, 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 some rows of plants in the background. I'm not sure how neat these are going to be. Uh, yeah, let's just paint those on in the same way. I think we're going to leave the background up at the top. Otherwise, it's going to take me forever to finish. And then let's just add some pansies by squashing some little circles of fondant on there and just adding a little bit of painting or even edible pen details to those. Who remembers the last cake of bluey that I made a while ago? This one was made using a Swiss roll in the middle and I do actually have a video for that one here on my YouTube channel as well. I'll put a link up in the corner so you can watch that one if you want. Let me know which do you prefer, this one that I've just made or is the other one I made your favourite? Moment of truth, is it going to stand up? I hope so. There we go. Let's stick those ginger biscuits on the front now. I'm going to just push them against a little piece of fondant to get them sticking in place each side. Now let's cut this bad boy up. Now I'm off to go hand out this cake to all my neighbours. Who's your favourite Bluey character, guys, and should I make a YouTube video of them? If you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more like this one.